Hello folks, Fly Drowner here. This is just a quick vid about a rod that I'm now finishing off. This is a Bloke XLSG 6 weight, 3 piece, um, 8 foot blank. That's a super, um, sorry, S glass, ultra glass, uh, modern fiberglass, translucent blank. The fibers are longitudinal using modern resins. It is really tough. In fact, this rod is a bit of a beast. Um, it is a very, very powerful six weight. It will take a lot of punishment. Anyway, what you're looking at here is a Pack Bay um, real seat, uh, gunmetal. I've put uh, the Pack Bay uh, insert in the end so that it will take a fighting butt that I've knocked up myself. So there you go. It's a full wells um, cork grip that I get through high level in Sweden and it's oversized. It is a, it is a bigger fatter grip than you'd normally get. I've got big fat sausage fingers. I started using these on the rods I made for myself. People I've made uh, rods for now over the last couple of years have appreciated the fatter grip. So there's a bit of sparkling on there. That is a uh, Fuji Titanium KTLSG, I think it is. Something on that, I really ought to remember these things. Uh, stripper, and as you can see here, these are just regular snake guides, nothing special. This isn't a, a posh build, as should we say, it's a budget build. It'll be somewhere around 100 to 120 pounds, I would imagine, by the time I've uh, finished with it. But as I say, it's going to be a very powerful rod. My only disappointment with this is there's a slight, I don't think you'll make it out on the video, but there are a few, um, not inclusions but uh, and not delaminations, but there's a couple of marks that are embedded into the top of the blank. You occasionally get this with the, the translucent uh, blanks. I'm not doing a very good job of selling it here, am I? But there you go. Um, it's still a very powerful top. And it won't de um, degrade the performance at all. So, there you go.